You're watching Good Morning Carolinas with Jason Classbold, Crystal Costa, meteorologist Darren Stack, and Amanda Kinson. And a very good Tuesday morning to you. Thanks for waking up with us. You know, this time of year, there's a lot of folks out there. They're spring cleaning, kind of sprucing up the house. Getting it ready for spring. Yeah, and if you need some tips on exactly how to do that, get your ready, get your home ready for warmer weather. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinseth is live in Myrtle Beach at Notting Hill Interiors with some spring decorating tips. Right, Amanda? That's right. Kimberly Grigg is by far the expert in this topic. <laughs> and uh, so even as small as some throw pillows on a couch, that can make your house look like spring, right? Yes, well, you know, this is the time of year when everyone thinks of renewal, mm -hmm. and there's lots of things you can do, including a little bit of paint, but if you have a neutral sofa, for example, you can punch it up with pillows. If you have a softer palette this, like this, or if you like a little more color, you can bring color in. Oh yeah, that would be a lot of the pillow color. that you have could actually change an entire room. You can also throw in accessories, new accessories for the spring, um, beautiful new candles even, which is simply a $12 expense. Huh. Other things that you can do are add a really pretty tray. And this is useful because not only does it give you a little color, but you can actually use this for serving drinks or serving snacks or that kind of thing. I think when you're decorating, it's also very important to think about all the senses. And one of the things I like to do ah, is candle. start with a candle. That's your new favorite fresh spring scent. Some people prefer the, the wick sticks, which are also very nice. Sure, the smell and then plus the, the light, the candle light too, that kind of changes, changes, changes the, the, the mood. <laughs> and I like the pillow idea because that way, if you're sitting on the couch, you know, you can just exactly. kind of lean back and take a little nap too. But that's all you need is just some stuff here and there and it makes it like spring in your house, guys. That's right. You know, the, the throw pillows, they're easy to get. Yeah. They're not expensive. And the candles, too. I mean, you know, spring breeze versus, uh, I don't know, cinnamon or right. uh, baked cookie dough or something like that. <laughs> right. makes a difference, right? Absolutely. <laughs> you can get some of those old antiques, like the mm -hmm. dish she was showing, at yeah. a yard sale yeah. or, you know, thrift stores. So there's a lot of ways to easy. spruce up the home. After a long winter season, you might be ready for a bit of a change at your mm -hmm. home this spring. Well, if you're getting your house ready for the warmer temperatures, we have a few ideas for you. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinseth is live at Notting Hill Interiors in Myrtle Beach with a few ideas. What's going on, Amanda? That's right. Well, we were talking about throw pillows on a couch, how much those can add to a room. Now let's talk about colors. What are the hot colors for this spring? Well, there are a lot of hot colors, including emerald green, which is the Pantone color of the year. Aqua still continues to be a strong contender. Behind you, you will see beautiful shades of citron, and you will also see shades of turquoise. Turquoise has made a huge comeback, and it varies from teal to turquoise. And then, of course, the hottest color of the season is coral. Coral, okay, we've got some examples of coral over here. I personally love green and turquoise, but why? So co coral is, I mean, you look at it, it is kind of just like spring, right? It well, brightens up a room. You know, the thing that people don't understand about color is that color is neutral. All colors are neutral. So coral actually becomes a wonderful base for fabrics. And then you can mix some of the other colors I mentioned back to it. For example, turquoise and coral, fabulous combination. They look good together, sure. Yes, they do. So some of this stuff you could take and maybe do curtains or a throw or what would you do? Well, you know, Cinderella said one little shoe can change your life. <laughs> I say one little fabric can change your life. And you can do an assortment of things with a fabric. For example, you certainly can do window treatments and panels and toppers. You can also do new throw pillows. You can upholster your uh, sofa. You can slip cover something. And, you know, just for a little bit of an investment, you can have a whole new fresh look. Yeah, there you go. Just for a little splash of color to make your house spring. Guys? I mean, I wish you could hear us talking <laughs> back here because Crystal and Alex, our morning producer, they're like, oh, I love that color. Oh, I love the emerald. Turquoise. Oh, I love coral. Oh, I love everything <laughs> in the store. <laughs> We're shopping through yeah. her live segment. So thank yeah. you, Amanda. And a very good Tuesday, April 30th morning, the last day of April. Crazy. Yeah, it is. Thanks for waking up with us. Hey, we got your watch and win uh, winner coming up, or the name at least coming yeah. up. 500 bucks. So we're just building the anticipation. Of course. Well, then just a minute. Okay, you know, so springtime, it's a time for cleaning up the old 
bringing in the new, of right? Of course, and this morning we're showing you how to add some life to your home without breaking the bank. Mm, WPDE, <laughs> that's very yeah. important. News Channel 15's Amanda Kinzith is live in Myrtle Beach at Notting Hill Interiors talking about spring decorating. Hey, Amanda. <clears throat> That's right. Well, we've talked about throw pillows all morning and how those can go a long way. Well, it looks like they can go a long way on your outdoor furniture, too, huh? That's true. Actually, these are outdoor throw pillows. Huh. And when you're thinking about planning your outdoor, you want to think of this one key word, durability. Yeah, I so. so. <laughs> you want your frames to be baked on finish so that if they scratch that you don't see white or aluminum through, um, just as this is okay. baked on. And then you want to really consider the upholstery fabric. So the, this upholstery is really wonderful in that it's seven inches deep. And if you get rain, you want to pull your cushions up so the water can just run off of them and they'll last so much longer. Yeah. This okay. particular set is kind of interesting because it's reversible. You say interesting, I say super cool. Super cool, super cool. <laughs> so it's, it makes it its life uh, twice as long yeah. because you can flip the cushions over. And then a few other things that... Real quick, I want to talk about the rug. You said indoor-outdoor rug. Indoor-outdoor rug. This is the hottest new product on the market. And the beauty of this is that you literally can put it inside under a kitchen table and if someone spills food or drink, you can take it outside and hose it off. Ah. The other nice thing is that it will last just like some of these nice, beautiful Sunbrella fabrics for about five to seven years, so you get a, lot, a really nice life out of it. Very nice, and they come in fun colors for the spring, and I'm thinking durability, that might be good for the indoors, too. <laughs> Maybe it might have to, especially yeah. with children. <laughs> Guys. And on the rug, it sure beats getting on your hands and knees with the OxyClean trying to scrub Sweet. out a stain, right? Hey, I like my, my tie kind of matched some of the outdoor uh, pillows. Very spring. Yeah. You're channeling like the no. patio table. Yeah. I like it. That's cute. Well, as the seasons change, we've been talking about spring, there are little mm -hmm. things you can do to add a little bit of spring life to your home. Yeah, WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kenseth is live at Notting Hill Interiors, and she's been giving us some great ideas for fixing up the home, yeah. adding a little color to it on the, on the cheap. What's going on, Amanda? That's right, just a little splash of color. That's all you need so far. We've talked about pillows or throws, which I love because why are throws always so soft? They're always oh, so nice and on the couch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now we're talking about just couches and upholstery in general, right? Yes, we are. You know, the main thing about upholstery that people don't understand, it's what you don't see that matters. So when you're looking for new upholstery, you want to think about and ask the questions of what is it made of and how is it put together? Our upholstery is private label for us, and it's made in North Carolina, and the frame is made from southern, southern dried kiln, and it's eight-way hand-tied. So what you don't want is a frame that is glued together, because over time, the frame will begin to sag. You also want to know what is in the cushion for your sofa, and some people like a firmer seat and some people like a softer seat. And that's when you always have to go and you have to try yeah. them all out to find, find the right exactly one That's exactly right. And depth matters and height matters. And then of course, the fabric that you choose for the sofa matters. If this is gonna be in your everyday family room, then you want something that's a lot more durable. If it's just going to sit in your living room and look pretty, well then you can use a fancier fabric that may not stand the, the, the yeah, test Yeah, and of you've time. got the green, which is one of the colors for the season, yes, and you have coral. And I still am a big fan of the durable outdoor furniture I think I'm gonna put that indoors and outdoors well actually make you it can. pretty with colors you well can. there you go indoor outdoor guys what a good Sounds stuff good. Huh? yeah thank you very much Amanda